Hey partners, today we're going to look at what's inside the box. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, most of my views come from non-subscribers, so please consider subscribing today. Hit that alert so you'll be notified for future videos. It helps me as I'm on my way to 100,000 subs this year. Really appreciate it. Hey partners, thanks for coming back again. I'm really excited to open this box. Um, this is usually stuff that I store that I don't always display um, just for extra Toy Story figures and stuff like that. I was starting to organize my room and I realized, well, I should go through some of the boxes, but why not make a video about it and show you guys my thoughts on what I find in here. So we're going to open this box. First thing we have is a huggable plush head Woody on a Disney store body with Bonnie on the bottom of the boot and a smaller pull string ring, which is cool. Um, but yeah, this is just my extra stunt Woody that I use for stunts and live actions. And he does have a hat that fits on him. So that's the first thing I have in there. What else do I have? I do have this signature collection body. Um, I don't know how I got this. I don't remember anymore, but I did get this. And it's cool because I guess if I'm modding Woody, I always have extra parts, so if I need to like get a new holster, or I need boots, I always have a spare. Um, I think the voice box is broken on this. But um, yeah, it's just nice to have spare parts. Uh, but look at how crazy the signature body is. The shirt's all like kind of crooked there on the, the way it was sewn. Signature is definitely not my favorite, but it's nice to have a spare it's with no head. <laughs> next thing I have is Benson. Benson creeps me out. Um, and that's why he stays in the box. <laughs> what else is in here? I have a Disney Store Jesse hat. An extra one. And I might be putting some of these in my shop, but I really feel like I just keep them just in case I need them. And then here's another Jesse hat. I think this is from the UK Mattel Jesse. Not 100% sure, but it is not. It's actually vinyl on the, um, on the edges, but it's printed on, so it's all one piece. Then I have uh, an extra Toy Story 4 Bo Peep staff. I believe this was from the JC Penny um, or Disney Store for sure. Bo Peep. Not this is not a Thinkway one. I know that. Then um, we have an extra staff again for Bo Peep. Don't really know where this came from. I think it came from an Epic Moves Bo Peep because I needed the Google McDimples, and this was left over. So next one. Um, I think this is the old um, Talking Woodies from the Walmart that you can get. And um, what's really nice about these is I really like the the, the boots and the spurs. It looks really movie accurate, the color. Unfortunately, one's ripped off already. Otherwise, I think I would have used these boots. They're pretty nice for movie accurate ones. And then the holster. The yellow is pretty nice around there. I think it looks pretty true to the movie. Um, actually, yeah, this is a nice holster. But obviously collection is better but this is yeah it's just an extra body I have in case I need the belt buckle or something like that because this is a really nice movie accurate belt buckle I really like the color yellow so it makes me think hmm maybe I might use this for my movie accurate Woody later next bubble wrap I have this uh, face shield because it belongs to my buzz um, that's in pieces he's like a potato head so I can put them together and take them apart. Now this Buzz is missing his feet because I threw him in the air and he fell down, but I did it so you can Velcro the shoes back on. So for example, I found one of his shoes. You can just, it has a Velcro on it. Just snap it back in place and you can, he's like Potato Head, it's pretty cool. And uh, I don't think he works anymore, but I also haven't tested it out. He's an old 2010 Spanish mode Buzz Lightyear, but He's just, he comes apart in pieces. This is actually the same buzz I threw down the stairs that flew into a million pieces. Next, we have a Benson. Another one. Because I couldn't just have one. I had to get two Bensons. So, but he's creepy. Next, we have a naked Bo Peep. But I'm not going to show you the front. Because you all are weirdos. But yeah, no clothes on this Bo Peep. This was a Disney Store Bo Peep. Um that I needed the clothes from to transfer onto my Toy Story 4 modded Bo Peep. 
for my movie accurate Bo Peep. So that's why Bo Peep has no clothes. But I have an extra head sculpt of Bo Peep, which I like. So if ever I need spare parts, I can use this Bo Peep. Next thing I have in here is a Jessie. You can tell her hair was cut off because this is when I was trying to mod Jessie and I was testing some strands to see if it was going to look good. This is a Disney Store head sculpt that I cut off. Um, and I tried to lay the strand so it looked good. And so this was like my practice. Uh, my practice Jesse before I did the real movie accurate mod. I found Buzz's other shoe. Uh, it says Andy because it's an old one from 2010. And then I have extra woody heads. This is from my magnetic head swap mod that I did. So I have the laughing phrase. I have the signature one. And then I have an extra Disney store woody head. I was practicing some cuts on him when I did the head swap. So I do have these extra heads for woody which is very random but also very cool. Um, they all have their own unique expression and I don't know, you can never have too many too many Woody dolls, right? This is my Buzz Lightyear um, head that goes on the dis broken Disney store Buzz. Here I have a Duke Kaboom cape that I cut off because I did the custom mod and an extra Disney store um, Woody hat. I also found an extra Woody bandana. I think this was from the Disney store Woody that I had, but it's a pretty nice bandana so that's why I keep it. So that's pretty much it. That's all I had in the box. Hope you enjoyed watching that. Here's an update on my Brazilian Woody. I put some OxyClean uh, stain remover and I put him in the wash again on warm water and he came out a lot cleaner. So it does work. Every time you wa I washed him, he looks a little cleaner. I think I'm done cleaning him though like that. And I'll just, I'll j I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I think the vest is going to be the cleanest it's going to be now. Um, so now he's ready for modding and I will be working on sourcing the perfect materials uh, to mod him. So it's going to take me time, but I will definitely get to Brazilian Woody at some point. Uh, by the end of this month, next month, I'm going to keep working on him. So you'll see him pop up on my channel. As always, partners, thank you so much for watching, for liking, subscribing to my channel. Please hit that alert so you're alerted for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you, partners, on the next video review. You want the real buzz like you? You're, a, no, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a child's plaything. Hey, Ham, look, I'm Picasso. I don't get it.